School bus section. Uh, question number one. The driver who misses the child to unload on a bus stop should what should the uh, bus driver do you need to radio the dispatcher for direction and follow the local procedure if you forget to unload the child if you miss the child uh, i mean if the child is missed to unload and report this problem to you you need to radio the dispatcher first for direction and then follow the local procedure you don't uh, drive back, you don't stop, you don't unload. Security, uh, safety it's is out. first, all right? You need to follow the local procedure. Question number two. Which of the following statements about bus evacuation procedure is true? Uh, evacuation procedure is uh, also very important for you to know how to do it, when you do it, and uh, what is important for you to remember, if time allows, notify the dispatcher about evacuation location, conditions, and type of assistance needed. Assistance needed. So again, you, uh, if only if time allows, you need to notify the dispatcher about uh, location, condition, and what help you need. Okay? That's the correct answer. Notify the dispatcher. Question number three. Which of the following is recommended procedure when unloading the student? Uh, apply common sense. Tell students to remain seated until they are told to exit. Everybody familiar with that rule, okay? In flight, in, in any, any uh, coach ba bus, passenger bus, and definitely it applies here. When loading, unloading students, tell them to remain seated until they are told to exit. Okay, remain seated. Question number four. Most dangerous time, most dangerous time during the school bus ride is when loading and unloading. This is statistically most dangerous time. Most of the students get injured or killed during exactly loading and unloading procedure okay so most dangerous time question number five when stopping on a railroad crossing driver must stop no closer than 15 feet you should be familiar with uh, this answer uh, you should know that uh, from general knowledge section that's how you need to stop before railroad crossing 15 feet no closer than 15 feet Question number six. If students must cross the street, when they get off the bus, which statement is true? Uh -huh. If they must cross the street, if your students must cross the street. So what is the procedure? In other words, the question is, what is the procedure? Crossing students should make eye contact with the bus driver and wait for the driver's signal for you to signal them uh, that it is safe to proceed okay again uh, the uh, keyword might help you safe to proceed okay you should instruct them uh, to make eye contact with you with bus driver eye contact and wait when it is safe to proceed okay question number seven you should adjust all the outside left and right side flat mirrors to see to see 200 feet behind the bus you guys should be aware that there are three types of uh, outside mirrors they definitely should be properly adjusted they should uh, be not damaged and there are three types of them flat mirrors convex mirrors crossover mirrors so all the time pay attention what mirrors you are asking flat mirrors should see you should be able to see 200 feet behind the bus in them in flat mirrors okay flat mirrors 200 feet question number eight if the gate comes down as you start to cross the railroad crossing you should what should you do safety is primary concern you start crossing, gate comes down. What should you do? Drive through the gate. Break it if you need. 
drive through the gate, but uh, well, never risk to stall on the tracks. Okay, if it starts down and you already starts moving, well, drive through the gate. Question number nine. During loading and unloading, students, you should check your mirrors uh, continuously, all the time. Okay, that's again obvious question, obvious answer. Question number 10. Which of the following you should do when driving the school bus in high wind? Keep a strong grip on a steering wheel and try to anticipate gust uh, again uh, it's uh, common sense in high wind you should do what keep a strong grip on a steering wheel prevent uh, to well lose control of your vehicle question number 11 the cdl manual indicates that last step on picking up students at the bus stop is as follows you should know that uh, in uh, in the textbook uh, there are uh, sequence of the steps you need to follow, you need to do. And uh, sometimes you ask it, what is the first step, what is the next step, what is the last step? Okay? And if even you don't know the, well, the whole sequence, but at least try to figure out last step when picking up student at the bus stop what is the last step make final check make final check to confirm all traffic stops before opening the bus door and signaling students to to approach that's what you need to do okay you um, <clears throat> before opening the door and signal them that it's safe to uh, well load to uh, embark you need uh, to make a final check to confirm all traffic stops okay question number 12 which of the following statements about special danger of loading and unloading students is true you see how many questions uh, ask you about the loading unloading procedure because it is the most dangerous uh, well, situation during the process of students uh, transportation so what is uh, true about loading and unloading uh, uh, procedure students should be told to leave any dropped objects and move to the point of safety out of danger and get the driver attention to retrieve the object in other words if somebody drops something don't let them to pick it up students should be told to leave any dropped objects move to the point of safety out of danger and only then get the driver attention to retrieve the object that's the well ideal procedure you need to follow okay move to the point of safety first question number 13 after deciding the type of evacuation that is necessary the next step you must take is well you see next step you must take definitely next step uh, is securing the bus you need to secure the bus first and then you might notify the dispatcher uh, you might do well anything else but first you need to secure the bus first step would be deciding what type of evacuation you need and next step secure the bus question number 14 what is the safest way to stop unruly behavior on the bus sometimes you might uh, well get that situation when uh, students uh, might be unruly and what you need to do again remember safety is your primary concern everybody's safety so you need to pull off the road first in a safe location keyword safe location secure the bus another keyword and then stand up, tell the students what behavior you expect of them. Uh -huh. Again, uh, here, as well as in other endorsements, in other tests, you also uh, helped with um, keywords. Look for them, and you do, should be able to uh, uh, identify the correct choice. Okay, safe location, secure the bus, and then stand up, tell the students what behavior you expect of them. Question number 15. 
which of the following will confirm that you are driving vehicle with anti-lock brakes anti-lock brakes they do what they prevent uh, locking and uh, uh, how you know that you have that kind of brakes abs malfunction lamp you have yellow abs malfunction lamp on the instrument panel we uh, will light when you start the engine mm -hmm. and that's how you know that your bus is equipped with a uh, anti-lock brakes look for abbreviation you ask it about anti-lock another means to uh, identify it is abs malfunction lamp another question about anti-lock brakes a really short one anti-lock brakes they do what we already uh, discussed this they keep your wheels your bus wheels from locking all right lock locking they keep your wheels from locking during the uh, hard brake application mm -hmm. in emergency situation when you need to apply your brake hard they prevent uh, well your wheels your bus wheels from locking question number 17 at bus stops where more than one child is unloaded okay general situation more than one child is unloaded which procedure most likely prevents an unloading obstacle well more than one child you need to count them uh-huh right answer is a the driver counts the students if there are more than one you need to count them to make sure how many of them well will be unloaded or loaded counts the students as they disembark before moving all right good question number 18 which of the following is a reason to evacuate uh, the school bus well in the textbook you have many reasons and one of them is and most important most dangerous one uh, when the bus is stalled on a railroad tracks uh, uh, if there is no train inside it's still the dangerous situation it's a, a reason to evacuate the school bus to move children uh, from the bus away from the rail tracks all right when it's stalled on a railroad tracks question number 19 the blind spot behind the bus could extend to how many feet and textbook tells us uh, the blind spots could uh, um, extend to 400 feet okay 400 feet that's how far your blind spots might be and that's why you should pay well particular attention to all of your outside mirrors question number 20 which of the following statements best explains what to do when a school bus stalled on a track at a railroad crossing uh-huh we have agreed already on the previous questions two questions ago that this is the situation which requires evacuation in other words you are asked what uh well how you evacuate and the right answer is b you uh as a driver should evacuate the bus and move students away from the tracks away on the angle toward the oncoming train why uh, the toward the oncoming train just to see when it uh, uh, where it is okay away from the track away and toward the oncoming train question number 21 you should conduct a post-trip inspection uh, complete the sentence uh you should walk through the bus and around the bus that's how you do how you conduct a post trip inspection you need to check everything is uh, well uh, mm, nothing is uh, forgotten left so you should walk through the bus and around the bus through and around through and around question number 22 if you are loading students on the route and cannot account them what you need to do golden rule secure the bus take the key to prevent the bus you know uh, starting and check around and underneath the bus 
safety is primary concern that's why if you cannot account all the students if you're not sure all of them are in the bus stop secure take the key with you and then check around and underneath the bus all right question number 23 passive railroad crossing what it is this is the type of crossing uh, which does not have any type of traffic control device no traffic light no gates no anything all right that's uh, uh, railway is called passive does not have any type of traffic control device question number 24 you should adjust all the outside left and right side convex mirrors now you're asking about the convex mirrors uh, let me remind you you have three types of outside mirrors flat we discussed them now you ask it about convex mirrors they should be adjusted in order for you to see the entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus okay entire area okay as much as possible entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus question number 25 when approaching the stop you should activate alternating flashing amber lights within how many feet before the stop 200 feet remember 200 feet there will be more than one such a question you need to remember uh, not 100 not 300 between them 200 feet question number 26 what is the next step after securing the bus when you have unruly child on board again guys you ask it about the sequence of the events you might not remember well all the sequence but again things think logically next step after securing aha uh -huh, you already secured the bus now what you need to do now you need to stand up and speak respectfully to the offender if a change seating is needed have the students move to seat near you okay after securing next step would be stand up and talk to offender question number 27 you should adjust all the outside left and right side crossover mirror now you are asking about the third type of outside mirrors crossover and they should be adjusted in order for you to see right and left front tires front tires touching the ground that's what crossover mirrors are they are um, they allow you to see what's going on uh while in front of your of your bus uh -huh, at the front bumper area front tires touching the ground front tires front tires that's what crossover mirrors are for question number 28 overhead inside mirror uh -huh, is used to that's easy to see all of the students that's what inside mirror is for to observe them to monitor them to see all of the students inside of your bus question number 29 you should activate hazard lights within approximately how many feet before railroad crossing 200 feet 200 feet that's when you need to activate your uh, hazard lights question number 30 school bus is one of the safest mean means of transportation what two key factors contribute to this impressive safety record and uh, those are vehicles and uh, drivers uh, vehicles and drivers are two key factors contributing to impressive safety record right safe vehicles and safe drivers vehicles and drivers police road condition anything else have nothing to do with the safety record vehicles and drivers all right good 